we're going to talk about the oxidative stress hypothesis of depression. Now, oxidative stress is a fundamental mechanism causing many diseases. We're going to speak about the cycle of oxidative stress and inflammation in the central nervous system. Anytime you burn a calorie, whether it's glucose, amino acids, or fatty acids, it's an oxidative process. You start with glycolysis, you move on to the Krebs cycle, and then it's oxidative phosphorylation. You end up with an ATP and a reactive oxygen species. Now, you want the ATP. It's the universal currency of the body for every reaction that takes place. You don't want the reactive oxygen species. What is a reactive oxygen species? Well, it's an oxygen molecule with one electron at its most peripheral level. Electrons want need to be in pairs, and so this oxygen molecule with an unpaired electron is an angry oxygen molecule. It will go around the cell and rip an electron off of anything it can get its hands on. That includes cell structures and proteins. Now you have damaged proteins in the neuron. Why? Because proteins fold into their specific shape due to the charges on their respective amino acids. And as soon as you rip an electron off of a protein, the protein will refold in a deformed way. Now the neuron says to the protein, wait a second, you've changed. I don't recognize you anymore. I need someone to look at you, such as a psychiatrist. The neuron transports the protein up to the cell surface and it shows it to the immune system. The immune system says, that doesn't look right. Something is off. This is not the protein's baseline. So the immune system reacts and it causes an inflammatory reaction. Inflammatory reactions in and of themselves are oxidative processes. And so you end up in a cycle of oxidative stress and inflammation. But it doesn't have to be that way. If you eat calories that are packed with antioxidants, then a different cycle happens. Anytime you burn a calorie, whether it's thinking, feeling, moving, a calorie's being burned, it's an oxidative process. You're gonna end up with an ATP and a reactive oxygen species. That's the cost of living. You can't get away from that. But this time, because you have an impeccable diet, there are an abundant amount of antioxidants in the milieu of the cell. Now, antioxidants are like charity funds. They are biology's do-gooders. And they say to the reactive oxygen species, hey, you need an electron? I totally have an extra one. You can have it. Just go back to being your best self. And the reactive oxygen species says, oh my gosh, thank you. I am so sorry. I have no idea why I was so angry. Everybody's happy and back to doing good things. And so now you burned a calorie and you did so without causing any neuronal damage. That is the oxidative stress hypothesis of depression and how oxidative stress impacts the central nervous system.